We got a very killer sided map, Father's Chapel. Gotta be very, very careful on this. Yeah, I don't have balance sighting, so I can't run the loop in the middle of the map. Looking right at him. Yeah, okay. Why do I get broken out of it like that is Ghostface from around the walls? But this guy can get away with uh, that kind of shit. That, that gives me the willies, boys. That really gives me the willies. I was staring right at him. My favorite is when someone tries to hide their light when they're playing a killer with no terrain. So he's a sloppy butcher, thanophobia, ruin, nurse's calling kind of gamer. Well, his ruin's gone. Now he's going to rely on just hurting everyone and leaving them hurt and going for one hit downs. He's only going to play half the killer this game. He's not going to play Ghostface with using his lethal ability. I think people undermine how strong Ghostface is. Especially, I get running this build and doing this, but you should literally be trying to initiate with leaning and stalking on somebody. Okay, you just hit that guy in the middle of the map. Great. Let him go and rotate to a different survivor and try again with more pressure. That guy's in the middle of the board and he's injured. You know, you've already got your job done on him. Change targets. This is where tunneling hurts the killer more than anything. You should be very, very careful when it comes to overcommitting to your chases. So, even though he chased him, imagine if he went to a different Jenny. If two people were on that, which they're not, because one popped, um... One popped Ruin on the right-hand side of the board while somebody was working on a Jenny on the left, and I, so I know where everyone is. Think of the value he would have got if he just left that chase. He would have maybe saved the generator. And now he's losing multiple jennies. I took that too fucking wide, I think. No, I've got it, I've got it. Get out of Bloodlust. It's been more than 15 seconds. I either take a hit or I give him a pallet. I'm going to give him a pallet based on the fact that he really wants the Bloodlust hit here, boys. I don't know why he keeps changing directions. He's Bloodlust 2 now. He gets it. I'm going to give it to him based on the fact that it's going to reset him now. Go right around so he can't cut me off with knowing where I am. See, if I went through, then he would have got it. Right the fuck around again. So what's this killer's weakness? Somebody tell me. The player's weakness, not the killer's. What's he doing wrong, chat? Somebody tell me. First of all, he's fucking following me when I want him to. That sucks, he's getting a little bit of prep on me. Look at how much time he's given to it, though. Look at how much time. He got one okay pallet. Look at the distance I got between us. And I preserved everything. Now he's popped his lethal. He doesn't even know how to lean this guy. It's unfortunate I'm in a really fucking bad tile, though, dude. I'm at another really bad fucking tile. Holy shit. I'm gonna give him it early because look at the time. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna leave. So because he didn't lean, it took him five seconds. He got nothing out of me and I managed to just keep running him. And he got a hit on somebody else, though. Imagine if everyone was on a gen then. He got one pallet, he's committing to tunneling, and because he's committing to tunneling, it's costing him the game. If you lean his ghost face, you get the stalk in 2.5 seconds. If you just stand there and do that, you don't. I, you saw the doll? Damn, I was hoping he'd help me with the gen. Leaning on ghost face is so freaking important, boys. You just gotta. He, he, look at his build. He's running Thanophobia. 
He's tunneling with Thanophobia and not going for Split Pressure. He's lost his Ruin. He's lost a lot of situational awareness. It's hurting him, over committing to chases. It really, really is. You'll be very, very mindful of how much time you distribute. No pop. Got both doors on one side of the map. Gotta be very careful in Father's Chapel. It's very, very killer-sided. I want to save him, but I want pressure on this. He camped the pallet and pulled it down. Other guys coming in. We'll get the door. If only they all had Kindred. He's still chasing that guy. Look at how he's turning his camera. Now, I do not think he has... I do not think he has Blood Water. I do think we can all run in and save, though. He can't use his ability. He can hit one of us. I'm not going to go for the save because I have BT. I need these guys to come in. I need you all to come in. Everybody here. Everybody here. That that connected, clearly. Yes, Sprint Burst, remember? That, that was one of the biggest misses I've ever seen. He's taken it very weird pathing. Well, we managed to get the block off. So the killer's biggest weakness this game was tunneling. He committed to chases he shouldn't have committed to. He should have hit the guy in the middle of the map. When he lost his ruin, he should have split pressure and went for other pathing on different areas, yeah? He already lost his ruin, so he should have went back in the direction where there was other players. But, all in all, GG well played. And if you guys are watching this one over at YouTube, feel free to pop in and say g'day to the live streams that happen here on Twitch. There will be a link in the description, guys. Take care. Hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you soon.